What up, people? In today's video, we're going to take a look at uh, Kaiju number eight and the girl, blonde hair girl. And we're going to see how strong they are when we max them out. We're going to test this in desert because it's the easiest way to get money and we get a lot of it. So the first thing we're going to do is just, uh, I guess we could just place down one unit. That's it. And then I'm just going to farm. And I'm not going to help them at all. W strat. Anyways, so first unit we put down is going to be uh, Oshi. And all we're going to do is just level her up max like this. And we'll cut back to where uh, both these units we start placing down and see how strong they are and who's the better unit. Okay. So we fully maxed out both farms. Now we're going to place down uh, Kaiju number eight. So he does 109k right off the bat. And he's a grind, uh, ground unit. He never techs air. You guys want to see his... Uh, VFX, I guess. Sure. It's going to get messy, though. And right around here is where he starts getting really expensive. That was 150k to upgrade him. But as we have both money units, it shouldn't be too hard to max him out. As you can see, he's doing 17.4 million right now. That's quite a bit. All right, you know what? Let's take off this. It's going to be maddening. He gets the, yeah, he has basically triple S uh, seconds per attack. He has, I think, double S or single S, and he has double S attack. But yeah, uh, I don't know if it's, I think it's like 19.1 or 19.4. So you could probably bring him to 37 million. But 37 million is pretty good, you know? 37 million is not bad if we're talking. If we're actually talking numbers. But yeah, I get, basically got both of them back to back. I wrote Overlord on her first. And then I rolled Overlord on him. And since it's tower limit, we see their full range. That's not bad. 55. Let's see her now. Boom, boom. She's hybrid right away. She's not as expensive, but still, her last upgrades cost a lot. I would show you VFX, but really? You guys want to see? All right, here you go. Hers is a tornado. There you go. But yeah, as you can see, her last upgrades are kind of expensive. It's not too bad, though. She could still be used in uh, normal rounds. The reason why we're using them both in uh, Desert or the, the Summer Event is because it's so easy to get money. Because of Oshi 300% money boost. But you already know that. Okay, so she has eight kills. He's obviously going to get more kills, probably. Hmm. Yeah, that's not bad. These two units are really strong. I'm going to keep him on my team for now. He does slow in the beginning, too, which is, I guess, kind of useful. If you just want to slow some enemies down. So it's a cheap 800 placement slow unit. But he only attacks ground. If he attacked flying unit, legit, he'd be on my team forever. But nah, that's too bad. Either way, both get outclassed by him. Because he has the... Because he's so cheap and he has that damage. I think he's still the best. More bang for buck. And he has the final I am atomic thing. 
that just obliterates the round. But yeah, that's just a look at the, the units, yo. Pretty sick that we get one that's uh, close to 40. I think the girl, the sniper girl, goes to 40 million. I do believe. But she attacks really slow. His attack is crazy. But she also does hybrid too, the sniper girl. I do believe. I hope so, actually. But yeah, I assume so. Either way, let's go check out the skill tree that we have on them for you guys. That's the last thing we'll do. Do a little quick skill tree check so you guys know what we're using. We're basically using both. Uh, they both have the same tree, so I'm only going to show you one unit. If it loads, there's always a freeze frame huh, in the beginning. I wonder why that is. Okay. Units. Boom. Skill tree. So, yeah. We start here. We go up this way. So, yeah. That's the unit. And hope you guys enjoyed uh, the little exposition. Peace.